playing Howlers. That goes my apparently my audio equipment tonight. But hey, better late than never. I'm using an old webcam here because uh, I wouldn't dare miss this, guys, because this is the sixth and final spoiler talk, at least until there's a book seven coming out. And uh, I am joined, as always, very, very excited for the return of the sovereign, Aaron Alloon. How are you this evening? Low Howlers. I'm great. I got and our Howler favorite country. little goblin, which I hate calling him little goblin because I'm pretty sure Ben's <laughs> probably taller than me. But Ben's you know what? Huge. Ben Albark <laughs> just 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 fits. I'm six one. Ben, how tall are you? Six two. Yeah. See, see. So maybe I was just projecting. You're only six two. Yeah. He has it's a presence. <laughs> so guys, how was HowlerCon? So fun. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Do you remember, yeah. If you remember much of it, you won't we, uh, really. Dare. We're not, we <laughs> yes. don't want to brag, but we we've got some of these. I got one. Uh, uh one of my one of my <laughs> moderators went. And she got she grabbed me one of those, and and this. You know, it's illegal to ship alcohol. <laughs> Is it, well, I'm not. I don't think I'm not going to drink it. I think I'm just going to put it up my books. There know. you go. I don't know. I see. You can't even see because I got a webcam. So hey, I got the book right here, guys. Anyhow. I know. I tried to set. I have two. <laughs> I had a third that I gave away. I thought. I probably only needed one. And I also okay, well, listened to the what? audiobook. I got to read it first. So there, there's that. Guys, you know how hard it was for me knowing about stuff that you guys were speculating when we talked about Dark Age? Because uh, I don't want to jump to the end here, but Ben and I, you know, the big the big Cassius stands, uh, mm-hmm. and he was talking about Cassius. I had a little twinge right here when we were talking about Dark Age because I already knew. And uh, yeah, yeah, and then you listened to our... Uh, Purge, what was that called? The prediction purge. Prediction purge, and you were like trolling us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten to do that before, but uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't listened to you guys' uh, reaction to this book, your podcast yet, because I want to be surprised. I want, I don't, nice. I, I want to go into this not knowing how you guys feel at all. We, we hated it, and we're, we're quitting. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would really, really suck if you guys didn't like it. This would be very, very awkward. As far as far as HowlerCon, I, I, I really. Uh, wanted to go. I was out of the country. Uh, apparently, people told me there was a lot of people that were asking where I was, and I was like, "Well, that's nice." You you know, so apparently, that, uh, I, I was one of the ones who got them to read it. So that was very, very flattering. I just, I hope whoever's in control of it uh, for the next one, they ask me to be involved because I'd love to be involved. That'd be really, really awesome. I think yeah. it was Lit Escalates that does, did this one, right? Right. Yeah. Joel yeah. and his wife, mm-hmm. Christine, yeah, yeah. would love to be a part of that. They okay. Did an awesome so, job. It was so much. Yeah. Fun. It was yeah? really well run. Really well organized great venue it seems very successful so yeah i would i would bet there's gonna be another one yeah so uh, i heard that I don't know uh, if we'll be as manic this time <laughs> i heard that pierce was feeling no pain by the team he, <laughs> he was feeling no pain before he got on stage oh okay yeah right. he That's was good. he was having fun he we talked to him right before he we went up there and we we're like this is gonna be a good night <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're going to go through an order like we have done for all these other ones. But I guess first, just initial reactions. How do you feel for the penultimate book in the series? Go ahead, Ben. I freaking loved it. Um, I just thought it was awesome. Um, I mean, I love Darrow's journey. I I thought like him rebuilding himself was just incredible. I was there for it. It needed to happen. I love like the nostalgia factor. Um but at the same time, like the nostalgia wasn't like overwrought, but the three of them, the three guys like hanging out together, the, the like the old days, that was just, I don't know, that was so great. <laughs> the time on the Archimedes, like all of it was fantastic. And then I feel like my boy Cassius just got, got to shine this entire book. So mm-hmm. even though he's beyond now, but fantasy uh, fanatic. I'm not over it. <laughs> yeah. Felt like I'm it was not over it yet either. Like, if he's but... doing too much with the Cassius. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. too much. This isn't going to end well, is it? So. It was t- like, it was a natural place for him to, to go. I feel like, and I don't know. I just thought his journey was complete. It was incredible. I love that. He got this entire book to like shine and just be the amazing character that I always thought he was. So that was, it made me really happy. Ben's been acting like not everyone has always thought Cassius was amazing. I I mean I there's a lot of Cassius hate out there. I don't ben, know what really? you're talking about. The only one I found besides me that Cassius is his favorite. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not a favorite, but nobody hates Cassius. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I I love the book. This one was a lot easier for me um, than Dark Age. I flew through it. Um, not as fast as Ben, but as fast as I could while still working my day job. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, I thought it had um, more momentum. 
everything was more um, succinct. Like the characters weren't as spread apart. So it, was, I, it felt like quicker. We weren't as disjointed across the book as Dark Age. Um, and I just, I loved where everyone went, you know. I did want Lyria to be a super spy, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I was like, very disappointed in Volga. Um, yeah. So we'll see if I can get over that. Yeah, there's several things that uh, I think I'll touch on when we go through one to one. But uh, I, obviously, I, I liked it a lot. I'm still not ready to rank it. And I don't know if this is true or not. I'm refusing to believe it. But I heard through the grapevine that apparently Aaron ranked the books and she put Golden Sun last. And that just doesn't compute. So for whatever reason, I change it every time. It. <laughs> I was going to say her rankings change every time. That's true. It depends on the like what I've read. And she is chaos personified. Yes. So I uh, Thank not you. surprising. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what which house are you? I can't see. It's Mars. Oh, okay. Institute. Good. Yeah. Just making sure. It, I mean, I'm with Ben that the stuff on the Archimedes. Is, I mean, like, I've been waiting for Darrow and Cassius to team back up since yes. Golden Sun. I've been waiting for this forever, you know. So I, I loved all that stuff a, a lot. But you know, him choosing to turn Cassius into Swiss cheese at the end is not something that I was happy about. <laughs> but uh, you know, I think that I don't think there's anyone's like, yeah, Cassius is gone, you know. So I right. don't think there's no. any of those people. But uh, and yeah. I'm hoping uh, everyone is on the fuck Lysander train now. At this point, if you're not, it's just like, I don't know what else you could do. Maybe kill Darrow's mom. I don't even know what's left. I think if you're, I think if you're not, it's because you're one of those people who doesn't do what everyone else does, you know, just a contrarian for contrarian sake. Yeah. Just to be a naysayer. Yeah. So, uh, uh, wait, here's someone. Pax getting the blue tattoos was a shock. Mm. Yes. Agreed. Blue Pax. What up, Daniel? Don't, don't, don't. I mean, Virginia, I know you're trying to be the cool mom and all, you know, come on, <laughs> come on, reel your kids in just a little what bit. What I say on Hallerpot, he's half red, half gold, presenting as a blue. <laughs> he's just, he's just spreading around the love. Okay, so let's get into the nuts and bolts of this book. Let's begin with part one, which is called Circus. Interesting name, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Ben and I now have the circus shirt. <laughs> oh, you got the shirt. Okay. I was just saying, I've spent way too much money recently on Hallerpod shit. I need to, not Hallerpod. I was about to say, you got, you got shirts now. I see you've got a sticker on your microphone. I see, mm-hmm. yeah. You're just... Well, that's one of the extra ones from the uh, Hazard The bed, other time that Hazard you spent money on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think putting a lot I of money them. in, getting no money out. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, that sounds familiar. I, I think what I found funny about this is it's something that I found funny in Golden Sun, where he's just like just so pissed off that that Cassius is so handsome. Apparently, like uh, he's, he's talking about everything that's going on while he's out there on the ship, and he's like talking about stupid handsome Cassius with RA <laughs> and stuff. And he's, I don't know. Just, I find that stuff just amusing. Or whatever. I love, I I love face who's also very good looking now. Being upset about him having just like a slightly better chin. Slightly better chin. <laughs> Screw, Screw and Callaway, they, missing a leg. So it kind of surprised me. Screw and Callaway, they kind of seem like they got a little bit of a diminishing respect for Darrow at this point. I think they're just done with it, right? Mm. After after Mercury, they're just done with it. Understandably, yeah, I mean, it did seem like with Darrow specifically, that relationship was quite frayed for sure. Mm. Yeah, but I think I once like, he gets a new leg, he'll feel better. Yeah, I feel like it's they, always going to be frayed with Callaway, but like. Once Screwface gets some, some More Mustang, mods. some Mustang tender loving care, yeah. and like some, he gets taken care of a little bit. He gets his scalp back. Um, I think he'll he'll come back around. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Was was Ari and Shush, was she in the series before this book? She appeared in Iron Gold. See, I knew you would know. Yeah, I don't remember her. Just for a little bit. To tell Cassius that. She told Lysander, Lysander that, that Cassius, Cassius was, dead. was dead. Yeah. Oh, she's the one telling me was dead. Okay. All right. Yep. So I, at first I was like, am I, am I missing? Because I think I was getting her confused with uh, Pythia is who I was getting her confused with mm-hmm. at first. And I was like, wait, no, Pythia wasn't like super pretty or something like that. I, that's all they talk about whenever they talk about her. Oh, she's so pretty. You know, and Cassius is so pretty. So yeah. Maybe, maybe Cassius is threatened. You know, there's someone on the ship might be prettier than him. So he's got to go work <laughs> on his hair a little bit or something. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Apollonius, Apple, as mm. I've been referring to him, people are like, who are you talking about? As I kind of get <laughs> Lion <right>. heart. <laughs> so he's got Severo, you. and he's he's auctioning him off, and it's clear bait for Darrow. And of course, Darrow is like, hey, it's a trap. It's most surely a trap. So what do we do? Well, we 
walk right into the trap, right? I mean, that's the Darrow way. I mean, you just definitely in the wind always. Uh, I thought nuts to butt was I just bust out laughing. I never heard nuts <laughs> to butt where he called Cassius just jump on his back. And but again, this is the team up I've been waiting for. I mean, it's just, yeah. this was so good. I love this this whole bit. There were lots of piggybacks this book. <laughs> there were at least three. Did I count four? I think there's at least three. I yeah, think there might have been. There were there. Were, yeah, I was trying to count them. All. Maybe four. Yeah, because Gaia on Darrow, and there was Cassius Lyria on Volga. Yeah, Cassius and, and Darrow. Cassius and Darrow. Yeah. I I love that whole sequence as well. Um, and we were like doing a lot of predicting around Cassius and Darrow going to rescue Severo. But I love how that got kind of flipped on its head mm-hmm. and ended up being yeah. Severo rescuing them. Yeah. Rescuing them. So I thought that was that was smart by Pierce. That was that was a fun kind of turn on Yeah, that was awesome. But did you I mean I guess I thought, okay, Apollonius, he's he's no joke, but I didn't expect to Darrow to just get kind of just taken apart like he did in that, that razor battle. I was like, holy shit, he's getting destroyed. It's Jesse. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> he did. And I, I think that was the lesson that he had to learn at the beginning of the book there. And he was like, he was hurt. He was weak. Um, I mean, Apollonius has been, I feel like, preparing for this day for yeah, so yeah. long. It's like, it's like and... a rookie quarterback in their second year. It's like, we got film on you now. Everybody's been yeah. watching Darrow's moves for a decade. You do. You need to, you need to change things up. And yeah. he just got taken apart. Mm-hmm. It was I, surprising that he didn't last longer, though. I love, though, how perfectly apollonius that whole scene was um wanting like the best arrow and that's the reason he didn't just kill him right then yeah you know I, do you think apple could be darrow once he found the the breath of stone well i hope we get to find out yeah that's for I sure imagine we're gonna find out because i mean he, he, he got retrained by cassius so i'm sure we're gonna see that fight again i mean if he could be well, I would say if he could beat Fa, I can be, but you know, we turned Fa turned out to, which we'll get to <laughs> much, much later. But uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, so you get it turned on its head, and Severo showing up, all obviously awesome. He's in Star Show, he's kicking ass, he's doing several things. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with Jesse. I'd, I'd love to know how he escaped, but it, mm-hmm. Severo, he always finds a way, right? And remember, I think Pierce said it to you. He had that Severo POV that he threw yeah. out. I wonder if what it was. he would have seen that. I don't know. Right. Yeah, it feels. And how do we get our hands on that? We were talking about this a little bit on the pod, <laughs> and we feel we feel like there's some kind of scheme going on here, like with Adrius, with with Abomin Abomin Adrius. Adrius, yeah. Uh, like uh, that Severo might be a sleeper agent and kill Victor when he sees her. Well, that's what she thinks. <laughs> I feel like Abomin Adrius. All right, look, release Severo out into the wild. I've already lost on my purpose. one A. I can't lose my one B. That's that's big. <laughs> okay, I, I can't do this. Yeah, so, ben, so we we do think that. Are we talking like, <laughs> um, what's it called? Suspicions. Anyways, we haven't even talked about the whole book yet, but we think uh, Mustang's contact is Abominadrius, and that's how where she's getting her info from, because she has like a someone on the inside that she was embarrassed to talk about. So we think there's some deals going on and that's why Severo got released. I think I've just been like in a hangover phase. I haven't even started, you know, thinking about book <laughs> seven yet because I'm still in mourning a little bit. But hey, uh, Lightbringer, easy five stars would have been six if we'd had a soft at least point of view. He he's mostly in that uh backpack, which I need to get for my dog. <laughs> So, I mean, we can't go this long without talking about everybody's favorite Lysander, right? Mm. Uh, hey, he's oh, yeah. He's treated like a conquering hero. Don't you just love that? He's just, he's a conquering hero. <laughs> it's just exciting stuff. And if he wasn't already too punchable, hey, he's going to retrofit the Morningstar and call it the Lightbringer. Mm. So I'm like, now he's got Darrow's ship too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which Darrow, I mean, to be honest, he's just stealing it back from Darrow. But, you know, still, <laughs> it's the fact of the matter. It was Roke shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I did like how I don't fucking come after me. I liked how Lysander um, peeled away from Atalantia because she was a creepy, rapey auntie. So good for him. Yeah. He's getting yeah. in a better situation. I liked that he um, thought it was important to stay with the Rim and Diomedes. He was acting in his honorable way at the beginning of the book. Yeah. I think like opening on this 
it is annoying just like how much he steals from Darrow. <laughs> and yeah. like that part yeah. just annoys the shit out of me with it's uh, effective though. Lysander, but yeah, he's he's good at it. Uh but yeah, I mean like I enjoyed the first especially if through the first part of this book, like Lysander's journey. Uh, I thought it was just, I thought it was awesome. Um, I loved his speech to the 200 and like, I feel like he was making sense there for a while, like for what he's trying to do mm -hmm. uh, in an honorable type of way. But he just then turned out to just be the same old Lysander. That we... Yeah. <laughs> and, and... I, was, I was even ready to forgive him for Alexander. And I thought that he was going to, I thought he was going to have like a redemption arc. We're actually going to have it. I was like, I, it's not the way I wanted it, but sure, I'll take it. But you know, of course, and he mm. pulled the same shit on Cassius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Cody talking about uh, orb weapons. I thought you were talking about where Atlas shows up here and he murders the shit out of everybody. <laughs> he started with... Pierce. What what is wrong with Pierce? He just finds new ways to just murder the shit out of people. Uh, Tharsis. I was like, Jesus, what did this guy do? So... Well, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> that I is mean, true. Yeah, no one likes Tharsis. <laughs> So, we have yeah, a classic brutal. bit from our uh, Wrath Brothers podcast where we just said "fuck Darcis" over and over again. Yeah, he's a little shit. Yeah, so. I'm not saying I lost any tears for him. I'm just like, geez. I don't know if he deserves to be <laughs> eaten alive by a Hydra, um, but you know, pretty gross. Mm. Mm. So, so yeah, yeah, the orb, uh, like the Quicksilver head hanging behind him, um, all through Iron Gold. Um, are you talking about DA when he has like the robot? No, his little orb guy when Virginia's eating the apple and then shoots. Is yeah. that DA? That's a dark they all, edge, yeah. they all meld into one, <laughs> but yeah, we didn't it's see just a robot. we didn't see his little orbs as much. Mm -hmm. no, I, say, I thought he was talking about the where Atlas like puts that dude in an orb and like cuts his hands off and shit. I was like, what right. What was going on? So yeah. Atlas again. is terrifying. Oh. Like yeah. he's just doing all kinds of wild, crazy stuff. And we're so lucky that he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Right. He, at one point somebody says he was running in circles around Darrow and would continue to. And I was like, yes, he would. <laughs> yeah. He's scary. Yeah. So he takes, he takes slice and I'm like, good. Maybe he'll kill him. next. Maybe he'll put him in the cage next. Uh, but uh, what Cassius is uh, offering to retrain Darrow, like you know, your your steps are old, mm -hmm. you got to get the new hotness, you know. And, yes, uh, I'm here for it. I think that's awesome. That's what I've, I've like I said. It's what the team up I've been waiting for. Right, that's and some classic. Like, yeah, since the institute, right you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we see the introduction of the daughters of Ares, and we get to see uh, yes. uh, we get to see uh, Fitchner again. So that was really cool. Mm. I mean, Love you know. a Fitchner home video. Those are the home videos I want to see. Yeah, this was like the first like real emotional punch for me. I feel like in this book was that baby Severo that speech from Fitchner was awesome. Or 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 is it Severo still talking about Ulysses as if he's still alive? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> like geez, geez, yeah. yeah, and that's true. as if she's a she. Yeah, mm. he's, he's a she. she. Yeah, she. What? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's another girl. <laughs> so part two is called Rampart, and I think that's an apt description. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot more sense than Circus, I think. But hey, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so Lyria's attacked, loses a hand, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then you know, Mateo shows up. Mateo's gonna Mateo's gonna fix her. So I'm just happy to see Mateo again. You know, I didn't expect that. I wouldn't have been on my bingo card. Uh, Mateo's the first one who made me cry. Yeah, Mateo was awesome in this book. I thought like mm -hmm. that was great a great person to pop up and just like such a nice guy yeah his conversations with lyria just seems so genuine yeah and yeah love mateo what did you think about now this is the this is the big sticking point for you i was never really interested in the whole figment thing so i'm fine if he's decided mm -hmm. to just write this off now this could be something he's going to go back to but this really felt like he's decided to drop this storyline yeah i mean I'd be surprised if we heard back from them. There, there were like the six total um, figments that Sykes, were yeah. released parasites. But I, I wanted to see Super Spy Lyria, but Ben likes what she did, so I we're, we're opposed. Yeah, I was totally in on this. Like, I felt like it fit Lyria's character, like the choice that she made. I thought that was perfect. I thought it made her more interesting. I feel like you compare like Lyria to Lysander and like 
the choices that he's making to compromise his character like constantly throughout this book and then the choices that she's making over and over again to be true to herself like i think that's just fantastic stuff it made me love lyria even more yeah i'm a fanatic i was like i don't even know what's going on right now <laughs> it, it, didn't, it didn't bother me a ton that, that i thought it was a good good tool for like what it was in dark age and i was interested in that like i had a lot of theories about it but the way it went, I was like, oh, okay, I'm totally okay with I this. Just, I this... personally wanted one, so. <laughs> yeah, it made more sense to me. Like, as soon as it happened, I was like, this makes sense. I'm good with it. I'm ready to, like, accept it as well, You like this? Oh, talking story, getting deep here. He had to decide to go a different way because to choose humanity does go with the overall themes of the book. Sure, yeah. Mm. How about that? No, I thought it fit, too, but I agree with Brent. It would have been cool. <laughs> the I'm other saying. thing that I've heard a lot of thing complaining about is people saying oh he he obviously dropped the bomb and Adris too and i was like no there's another book <laughs> yeah, you know? so, we've been saying the same thing yeah <laughs> like, i'm you, hoping you, there's two it? more books I no we've been saying uh there's, there's another book coming yeah. So yeah. We'll, right we'll probably find out because yeah, I mean, there's, no there's no point of view over there how would we yeah it would right. have been it awkward to fit. like send someone over there just so we can figure out i mean when you do have a 700 page book it is weird to be like hey we didn't even see this character in this yeah book. or you know hey victra has like five minutes in the whole book it's an awesome five minutes don't get me wrong right yeah. but it, yeah i mean little things like that are gonna gonna happen i guess but i i i've heard a lot of people say that they don't like that he dropped the abominatrius thing i was like i don't think he did that he very clearly dropped figment but i don't think he dropped abominatrius and he mm -hmm. hints he hints yeah, we feel it. like there was some hints towards Abominadrius. And and I don't know, like, yeah, I think it would be weird to send a POV over there to figure out what he's doing. And it seemed like that's part of the story is pretty static anyway. So um, the journey that we were on was like the journey that we needed. That's how I felt as, as I was reading the book. Hey, Ben, Jesse's on my side. I just want to point yeah, that out. Yeah, big head, cool crystal, crystal armor and shit. You know, that was big Bentum. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, see more of it later. Who knows? I think that Pierce will keep writing and then be like, shit, I need an eighth book. <laughs> you know, I, I, saw, I when I titled my review, I said this was the the, the, the perfect penultimate story, you know, the, or the perfect story for the penultimate book in a sci-fi series. People are like, it's not the penultimate book. What are you talking about? I was like, does penultimate not mean what I think it means? Did he announce the book eight, or are you just like trying to speak it into existence? You know, so I, I was I wasn't really even clear. Like seriously, I started like saying like, did he announce a book eight and I missed it? You know? No. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's uh, that, that that that's very interesting. So okay, uh, so the attack on Phobos begins, and I can't really so talk cool. about this except pew pew spaceships. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, my favorite is, shit. I mean, this was awesome. I was. This is where I was like, okay, I don't like Lysander anymore because yeah. of him calling the green a, a bug. And stealing the, I mean, claw drills. Just yeah, like, get your like... own moves, man. Uh, but I, I don't know. I was like reading this, like I was pacing around my house in a circle, just reading my Kindle <laughs> during this entire section. It was just awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. Great. So good. It's yeah, like it one of my favorite time. action sequences in the entire and series. And you get the like corridor fighting that we love from Morningstar on the sh on the on the Morningstar. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you get it like on the ground with Virginia, the like tight corridors, mm -hmm. looking around corners. Plus the space battle aspect. Plus the space just, battle. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Who's the guy that uh, that she broke out of prison? I didn't expect to see again. All dear. Yes, unshorn. Yeah, that, that was unexpected too. I so. kept thinking the whole time I was like, "Who's going to save Virginia?" I was like, "Is it Darrow?" Because we, we we didn't know where he was. I was I was thinking like Volga was coming back. I, I, I was trying to, to think Avax of or, who or, was coming. Or Victor was going to come out of nowhere and just yeah. I didn't out. expect it. I was like, I was definitely, I was, I was the same way as Aaron. I was like running through my mind, like the like, Rolodex. I'm come? like, who can come? Who's left? <laughs> yeah. 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 Neither of us, neither of us thought Virginia would die, so no. we were like, who's going to save her? I was hoping that it was going to be the dog that was left behind. <laughs> well, here's uh, after we, on your pod <laughs> on our podcast, um, killed the dog. I'm yeah. sorry to say. Yeah, now he's killing dogs off I page. Know. You guys, off yeah, he's, page. He's vicious. He said, "Quote." I forgot about the dog. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm like weirdly honored that he killed the dog on our podcast. But at I'm the same upset. time, I'm very sad for the dog. I was <laughs> counting on <laughs> it coming back. 
so I mean, again, I, it's, it's cool space battles uh, that we've seen in this series, I think. And it, originally, I was kind of disgruntled because I was like, this is cool, but it's just it's just going back and forth between Virginia and Lysander, Virginia and Lysander. I was like, what's going on with Jero stuff? And I was like, eh, if you kind of break away from this, though, it's going to kill all the momentum. Yeah. You know? so I, I, I get the decision. But I know the people who think that Lysander already has too much time in the sequel books, and they complain about that a lot. I knew they weren't probably going to like that. I was like, like awesome spaceship stuff, though. Didn't yeah. have enough time. No, he said he said Lysander. Right, but yeah. we didn't get enough. I would, Virginia. I would have loved more time with Mustang for sure. Yeah. But I don't. I'd never mind a Lysander chapter. I mean, like his chapters are always extremely interesting. Right, and it keeps the story going. Yeah, he's the biggest dick in the universe. We gotta yeah. watch him fuck it all up. <laughs> So uh, let's see here. Uh, so Victra, I do wish she was in the book more, mm. but you know what? Yeah. She sure. makes Always. the most with the time she has. I mean, come on, what's more gangster than? <laughs> First, I was surprised he killed Ajax because it looked like he was setting him up for something big. Yeah. And but here's his head. The rest of them couldn't make it. How gangster is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a classic. How- howling and pounding her chest. She's the best. Man. Yeah, this is just a classic. Like, as soon as you start to kind of like someone, like we did with Ajax, I guess, where he's like, "Oh, he's not a giant asshole. Uh, he's dead." <laughs> like, <Nice>. And Thraxa. <laughs> and, and, and I love that. Go. I mean, I I loved it. I loved it. I, Victor has been training for this. Obviously, she's been seeking vengeance, and this is just hopefully one piece of her vengeance pie at this point. Vengeance pie. <laughs> We talk about some of the tech here. Pole stone tech, the one that the Lion Guard had shooting out of their back, was fucking nuts. Mm. Trapping Apple in it a dome. It can't touch the ground or else we all go boom. That was, I was like, are we actually going to get Apple here? Are we actually going to get Apple? And then. He's a big dude. He's. Do you think if they, if they, if they sang like that song for him again, that he would just show up <laughs> no matter where you sing that song? It's like Candyman. He just shows up. You start singing a song and he just shows up and playing a violin and shit. You know, I mean. I can see it. I, I. When Darrow was fighting him, I was rooting for Darrow. And when Mustang was fighting him, I was rooting for Mustang. But both times, I was kind of happy he didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he provides some obnoxious goldness. You know? Don't fear for me. Pity them. Uh, it's like She's the banger boss, line of the book man. right there. Yeah. He's such a boss. So, I, I was actually really surprised that Lysander, Virginia basically worked out a truce. And they kind of like a band. Mm. I understand it probably was the smart move to save lives, mm-hmm. but it surprised me. And then you start thinking about it like, gosh, yeah, I, I, she's like, I knew you when you were like six, man. This is weird. <laughs> you know? so, yeah, thinking about it in that, in that stretch, but it, 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 it was strange. But, you know, her telling Darrow not to come home, basically, that was the second heart punch, I think, mm. in this book. You know, be that close. But so smart. Yeah. No, it, like, she's making smart decisions. You know, what's he going to do? Come home and then they're going to be trapped i there. was so glad to hear darrow finally say i, I need to listen to a mustang because we've been saying that for yeah 95 episodes of listen our podcast to your life yeah <laughs> i don't know if it's been 95 but maybe like 80 <laughs> so sorry how about diomedes he has a much much bigger part in this book and i was very excited about it. you know I love i'm diomedes. a movies fan i'm i love yeah. the movies so I, I was happy about this but Moonies. he tells uh, lysander yeah, he's leaving because the rim's under attack by bull song fraud, which we'll get into here in a second. But <laughs> nice, uh, good one. I, I thought it was kind of funny that he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. You have to do the right thing." And then, oh, by the way, I just got poisoned. Shit, I can't. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Oh, damn, he's gonna kill Lysander off this early, unexpectedly." <laughs> no, no, he's not. No, he's not. No way. No way. He's doing it like this. But, uh, I thought Diomedes at times was like frustratingly himself. Stoic. But I like yeah. that he he really, you know, sticks, sticks to that path. Yeah, I didn't expect him to have that much, like, character depth. Uh, and screen but, time. And, and, yeah, and, and Pierce brought it out of him and made him, like, very interesting. And uh, I liked his back and forth, and I just like how straightforward he is. Like, I like how he decided <laughs> not to be a space racist in the end. <laughs> Well, he's just like respect, you know. Yes. Like he's like, yeah, we failed. And he's like, yeah, if I was born a red on Mars, I'd do it too. He's so, like, great like, job, Darrow. Yeah, get out of here, Madison. <laughs> Finish the book yet? Get out of here. Yeah, she, Dangerous. Yeah, uh, she got to go to HowlerCon. She's got, she she brought me this. Nice. nice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, get off this thing and go 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 read the book. book. <laughs> uh, 
But uh, I guess that's where we're, we're in the part three now, Tempest. Tempest. And we get to see our, our boy Quicksilver. And what I love about Quicksilver is he's like, I've had it with this shit. I've yeah. made an interstellar spacecraft. Peace. Have fun. <laughs> I was I was disappointed that he didn't have an army of robots, but holy you, shit, that story about agree. him, what he did to that guy, where he sent him out to space, like with in the, the gold the, like, eyeball ring. Sadistic. <laughs> I was like, oh my eyeball god, ring. <laughs> yeah, dude, Quicksilver is vicious. Don't fuck yeah. with Quicksilver. I was fine with Quicksilver fucking off to outer space, whatever. Um, I didn't want him to be like the savior, so I feel like I have this thing about I don't. I don't like chasing if yeah. they don't want to be a part of it, man. Right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Best of luck. I, it sucks because we need you, but yeah. Right. I, I, yeah I felt I, like I, it was a good, like, you know, power up spot, like fix up Darrow, beep, beep, beep. get all our, get some cool new some armor, cool equipment, yeah. and then He's send cool. them on out. Like that was a great, that's kind of like a, I don't know. That's a classic story thing. And yeah. A little uh, pit stop. Yeah. It worked well for that. And it hooked us up with Lyria, which, was like the best part was Lyria, and Cassius, like Lyria, Cassius, Darrow, Severo on the Archimedes together traveling. Like that was some of the best parts of the book. So the little eagle, all of that worked really well for me. Uh, Fanatic, the next book, I don't think there's anyone that's off the table to die. He could kill every <laughs> single character except Sophocles, I think, and, and, and it wouldn't shock it wouldn't shock me like like at all. So if it's Diabetes, it'll probably be Gaia or some crazy shit like that. You know, who I still don't trust. Not mm. for anything. No. Nothing. Nothing in the world. That's probably smart. So Severo finds out about Ulysses uh, secondhand from Lyria. Just terrible. Yeah. Uh, and I feel for Lyria because I do this shit all the time where I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you didn't know. Shit, 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 shit. shit, shit. <laughs> I think it's kind and of neat how she's like, that. he's almost like a, I mean, he's almost like a rock star to her basically. And she's yeah. like already nervous around him. She's like, well, not only I'm like nervous because he's like a legend, but I'm nervous because he's kind of insane. And mm. I think she just got her. She's one of those that when she's uh, she's nervous, she just gets loose lips. And I was like, You're right. Reading it. I'm like, stop talking now. Do not <laughs> let him find out this way. So I wouldn't have I'm been shocked. At all. I finally told him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would have been shocked if he killed her. <laughs> he's, he's crazy enough, and he's he's clearly not in a good point. I think he even says, you know, early on, that, uh, you know, with Darrow, you know, me and you, we're, we're not okay. You know? Yeah, right. Severo is, is tough at times. He's grim, in this book. grim, dark Severo. But you know, he gets his arc. You know, he he he, he does. He sh he kind of sheds the. You say he sheds the goblin persona somewhat in this book. You know, I mean, he talks I about like, see like, it. Yeah, people. yeah. By the end, he's. He's the goblin when he needs to. He's be on his own journey. I don't think he's quite like Darrow. I feel like rebuilt himself, but I think Severo's still got a few things to work out. Uh, Truffle Pig is the best call sign, <laughs> by the way. It's so funny know. how she hates it. Eaglet? I don't know. Eaglet. <laughs> I always say little eaglet. I can't remember the word eaglet. So she does decide to stow away on the ship, and she is eventually caught by Severo. But I, I do like that. Lyria and Cassius, they seem to bond like super quick. And, you know, of course, it's because he's super handsome. But, you know, I, I understand why she likes it on quick. I mean, I guess him, he's just like, yeah, hey, yeah, she's like a little sister or something, I guess. I don't know. It was fun. I, I enjoyed Drinking it. partner. Drinking. Yeah, drinking partner. She, she, she likes hard whiskey. So and another it. reason I relate so much to Cassius is he's all the time just mad that everybody's getting his ship dirty. Because I'm like, I'm the only neat freak in my house. Everyone else is a complete just chaos you know so it's i, I get that what's like living Keep the with archimedes that. tight yeah also i want to say with truffle pig that her stowing away is very much she's like on rona's path she's kind of like mm -hmm. mirroring her storyline and hopefully rona's not dead we're not convinced yeah and she's definitely <laughs> truffle pig because they get her to come out of hiding by using some ham Right, the, the, <laughs> the ham was great, <laughs> and Sever having her in the sack. <laughs> it's great, and Sever got peed on. Yes. <laughs> so I think when we get back to Helium, that's where shit gets like really, really weird to me. Like the whole like Helios thing, where Atlas was disguised as he. I was like, what in the hell is going on? Now look, yeah, I'm gonna amazing. Be honest about this whole part here is that I suspected that Atlas was the big bad for a while. I, I've suspected that. I never suspected that Volsung Fall was not scary. I never yeah. expected him to be the Mandarin from Iron Man 3. I did not expect right. that at all. 
Yeah, he's that shock you guys. Was Wizard that? Did anybody Oz. even have a theory about that? The Wizard of Oz. Um, I it not was one that we had heard. Happening too fast. Oh, like not during the read. No theory. I know I didn't hear a theory before. Yeah, I mean before. I mean, yeah. I did. Did see like obviously we knew like Fa was connected to Atlas, but. Yeah. I did just think that he was a big terrifying <laughs> obsidian right. of some sort and not necessarily know. like a fancy obsidian. Yeah, and <laughs> uh the in the audiobook he sounds real fancy <laughs> when he's uh not using his scary fa voice. If that happened then I don't remember it. I don't remember it ever being speculated that fa was anything other than than a scary devil. porcupine. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. And I've heard people say like, oh, my my comparison to Mandarin is not good because, you know, he the, the Mandarin was just an actor. He's not an actor. He, he, you know, he's actually like kills people. So I was like, I don't know. It's the part when Darrow is chasing them and he's like, why don't you leave me alone? I was like, OK, this guy's a big ass fraud. So, uh, <laughs> OK, he's just a, a big teddy bear. But uh, yeah, I don't know, that, 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 that really shocked me. Totally. Yeah, there was definitely I feel like there was definitely some signs that something tricky was going on with Fa. But, I mean, not, I don't know, not to this, like, he's a full-on fraud level. Um, it did seem like he was Atlas. He, he, I think you know, it was, there was like a lot of working connections with to Atlas, Atlas. Yeah. but, yeah, the voice and the, the wanting to watch theater, that was all very <laughs> surprising. <Yeah. laughs> uh, he, oh, he, he did bring, and I, know, I know we disagree with this on the Discord, but I'm sorry. When he turns into a great a bitch when he's fighting Darrow, to me that says you're a phony. That's a bully got punched in the mouth, and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh shit, I actually have to like do this stuff I've been pretending to do." I'm not saying he isn't physically intimidating. I'm just saying he's he's a big phony. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Ly Lysander is able to get Diomedes off the ship, and and uh, Darrow actually recovers him. And then it's kind of interesting that Dar uh, Cassius is like, hey, no torture on my ship. And Sarah was like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Because you know, that's what Sarah would do. But that's the what finally pushes. Fingernail stuff you. really bothers. Like, yeah. That's what I think finally pushes. Electrocuting his teeth, gums. Just all oh. teeth, nail, you know, it's like nails on a chalkboard. The Cassius Severo dynamics is, was, I always enjoy that too. Because, uh, sure. I think got a lot of history there, you think? Just yeah. a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Got a little bit of history. Uh, I, I, I was know. worried they might like stab each well, other. Well, it's like you understand exactly why. Like, I want them to like each other, but you understand why Severo doesn't like Cassius, obviously. Right. Yeah. So, Ooh, I think he's got good reasons. <laughs> and, yes. and he's a justified reason for that. So, yeah. I mean, uh, first, you know, killing his dad, and then the second, uh, raising Lysander and letting him become this. <laughs> this Not that he lets Lysander become anything, I don't think. You know, but you can tell it, you can tell it, it bothers. It bothers uh, Cassius a lot, uh, the Lysander thing, you know. And yeah. Anytime Darrow even mentions, yeah, we got to kill this little shit. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Go back to our Morningstar review, guys, where I said you should have fired him out the airlock. It would solve <laughs> a lot of problems. So many problems because they're going to they're gonna grow up. But again, I was, I think I went into this book kind of scared for Cassius because I was like, all right, look, he we just got him back after a fake out death. He's not going to, no, he's safe. And then I'm like, I don't know. He's getting too much to do in this book, and I'm liking him well, the, too much. Well, the like, brothers chapter where they're talking. That uh, was where I said he just punched his ticket. Yeah, I was like, nope, this is bad. Heartfelt. Yeah. I mean, I had a feeling going in. Yeah, it doesn't I, get happy I, endings. Mm -mm. I I knew before the book started that this was happening, but that was part of my prediction. Ben's not but... very optimistic. <laughs> I just like I, it seems like I don't know. It just seemed natural. It it did. Wait, I saw a question for Aaron here that I wanted to put on the screen, and I lost it. Here we go. Where does Aaron rank Lightbringer among the whole series? Or where, Ben and Aaron? Sorry, he asked both of y'all. I still can't. I still feel like it's too soon. I feel like it's still too much recency well, bias. I Don't just read it. it. It's number one. No. Okay. I honestly, I, I mean, it is probably my favorite in the series now. I feel like really? it combines the best parts of the sequel trilogy with all Some of nostalgia. The classic things that i love from the first trilogy I, I i know it's it's recent but for me like i really 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 enjoyed it i loved it um yeah me too i need more time i need more time like i said i'm still i'm still on the i'm still on the, the morning phase and i typically like books more and more the more i reread them so since i've only read it once and already like it the most it's probably just gonna keep beep 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 <laughs> get a mushroom so 
I, I do like that them two getting into it's what makes Daru finally be like, okay, we got to have a come to Jesus, me and Sarah. Right. It's just, just, it's not going to work with you just being a complete animal. You know, this it needed to happen. And Severo you got to let him. Like so annoying by and, that point. And it nostalgia. <laughs> it, it goes back to Darrow and Severo fighting um, mm-hmm. in Golden Set. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> They all merged together <laughs> in my mind. You guys, were you guys upset about Volga's decisions in this book? Yeah, I was very I upset. Came back around, but it was just like she's my cute little muffin. I was so frustrated. Animal with her. lover, and she's, she's out here a, killing dra- drakes, being and a terrorist, leviathans, and what the fuck? All kinds of colors. Oh, did, did, did every Fog. color except for red. <laughs> Because she didn't get that far. Did Fa just like honey dick the hell out of her or something? Because she just seems like unwavering, like zero chance. I do feel like she's always been impressionable, impressionable, naive. and But like she went out there knowing she was going to try to infiltrate and then just like immediately was like, I guess that's not what I'm doing. Right. No, it was uh, very disappointing. I think a lot of people had several as the one that was going to eat it in this one. Cause just Pierce did say that like one of the deaths in the book was like the hardest thing he's ever had to write. So everybody mm-hmm. just kind of assumed it was going to be either Darrow or Severo. And I was like, it's not going to be Darrow, at least not yet. <laughs> yeah. I well, never we thought red Darrow guy. And like chapter I thought, 60 of the last book. <laughs> yeah. I thought Severo was too obvious. And so that's why I felt like it was always going to be Cassius. Yes. Yeah. See, I, I think people kind of got mixed feeling about, about what happened with, with Volga that it kind of seemed out of character for. Her. And I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. Man, people start pulling that thing about, you know, blood being thicker than water and stuff like that. You'll, yeah. You want I mean, I agree I was, with Allie. Hello, Allie. It was <laughs> Allie from Cali. It was frustrating, but it wasn't like I didn't I didn't feel like it was unbelievable. You know, I was I was pissed. I was upset with her for sure. Yeah. Our, as, especially especially as, while she's heart punching everyone. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Every single one. I was like, this is awful. Please <laughs> stop. stop. It. stop. <laughs> I couldn't get past the killing of the animals. I was like, what are we doing here? Right. That her whole, her whole You're thing. You're hunting now? Was loving animals. Yeah. She's trying to go to the zoo. Gosh. Anyway. My delete button doesn't work. So I keep losing my place. So Lysander reluctantly agrees to, uh, to go along with the plan of, you know, Fa eventually stepping away and him being the light bringer. I mean, it's. It, did, you, did you guys think that there was some kind of play on words? Because the book, it has a space mm. between light bringer. And then sometimes it would have light bringers one word, at least in my advanced reading copy, it did. I don't know if it did in here. What do you think he was like trying to do some kind of trick or whatever? Is it just. I feel like he split it up just because every other book is two words. Like Brent. Brent <laughs> well, <laughs> And Brent Week's <laughs> series is Lightbringer One Word. Oh yeah, you don't That's want to get confused with that dog shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. I like those books. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> have you finished them? Yeah, I finished all of them. Really? You finished that series? Yeah. Wow, your your patience is incredible. <laughs> wow, I love the first two. Yeah. Anyway, I've talked about that a lot. So. What's his name? Kip. Who's the fat kid? I love him. Uh, Kip. Anyway. Kip. Yeah. yeah. By the way, do you know he was fat? Did you finish it? It's a good ending. Come on. Anyway, I, I, we'll I, talk I, about I, that later. I hate Red Book Four, and I couldn't go on anymore. <laughs> I can't. I can't oh man, yeah. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> even even if it's not good, I'll finish it. <laughs> so Atlas reveals he's trying to find uh, an ancient weapon called the uh, Eat Me, Ed Me, Ed, Eat Me, mm-hmm. <laughs> Ed Me, Ed Me. How oh, yeah, how did? How does the how does the Scrooge McDuck audiobook guy how did he pronounce it? Is it? I think Ed me. I don't Ed remember. Me? Ed me. I didn't listen to audio because I'm twelve. So I, I kept talking it in a British me. accent. Ed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm twelve, so I kept calling it "Eat Me" the whole book. So nice. Well, it is literally "Eat Me." Depending on which color it chooses, it will eat them. Yeah, so it has the ability to wipe out a specific color, right? Yeah. Which it's one will he choose? Uh, I mean, who knows? I mean, you should have right none, you know, but, you know. Is it even going to be used? Is it even real? Is it I think the had. most predictable thing in this book was that, yeah, if you go near the daughters of Ares, uh, Darrow, you're you're done. You're done. They, they, didn't, they didn't forget what you did. Come on. 
I was a little annoyed that they were keeping him accountable, but it, <laughs> I guess it was part of his journey. Yeah. I feel like it needed to happen. Yeah. And it was those questions like have been out there forever about the docs of Ganymede and, and him selling everyone. And uh, it's been a debate in the fandom. It's been a thing that the characters have been dealing with for 10 years. So I feel like that being addressed and like Darrow owning up to it being a bad decision needed to happen. Mm. Uh, I don't like that. Daniel thinks Cassius is the light bringer. Mm. I agree. Because I mean, I think we all know who the red god is, right? I mean, <laughs> who knows? I mean, yeah. but you know, who, who knows? It might just be he is the morning that, night. So maybe, maybe Darrow's going to re steal the light bringer and name it the red god. It's just going to be like this, <laughs> this, this, this the this same ship over and over. Measuring dicks over who's got this I'm ship. I'm hoping the light bringer gets exploded in that. Um, Lysander's on it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I guess that could probably work. Uh, so yeah, getting taken prisoner by the Dodgers, and we get our good old trial. That's what this series needs. Mm. We have, have, haven't had a trial yet. I feel like every <laughs> fantasy sci-fi series needs to have a good a good trial in it. I, I have to say, I did like Darrow. I, mean, I always like Darrow's speeches, but I like the fact that he's like he admits it. He doesn't yeah. try yeah. to dance around it. Say I did what I had to do. He admits that he did it, and he's, he's like, like "Okay, this, this is it for me." Yeah. Hey, you guys keep fighting. So, I mean, I respected that. Yeah, I I love that. And I I felt like that was the growth. That, like that was the growth that we needed. And then, <laughs> just to like contrast it with Diomedes being like, "Yep, I just, we did it. We failed you. <laughs> Kill me." Is this, is this from the <laughs> comics? I think who's, it's who's, Rihanna from the prequels. Who's Rihanna? Uh, that's from the Sons of Ares Part Three. Oh fuck! Yeah, that's uh, Severo's mom's sister. I haven't read them yet. Severo's aunt. I have like the first Severo's aunt. Six yeah. or seven, yeah. But I don't. I don't know. It's it's. She does go back. Like she. We were in, thinking that those are Ore spoilers. I guess for part be, three. Ore uh, could be Evie, carved. I didn't think that. That was a theory. That, that was a somebody theory. Ru- but, read, it, that but, one ran across my it. mind. Yeah, but I think it's just because it's like, hey, you know. That was a fun theory. I thought that was yeah. a fun theory. Yeah. I don't like think it's true, but no. What cool. was that weapon that Athena had that she gives to her? That thing's badass, whatever it is. Pyphoros. Yeah. Pyrophoros. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh it's actually Severo. Severo is the one who swings the trial. Because when you think of someone who to speak eloquently <laughs> and sway a crowd, <laughs> it's gotta be Severo, right? So it's like I'm glad that happened off page. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I just can't imagine him having this speech that 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 Severo is going to give us not just like, listen here, you little shits, you know? Yeah. Well, that's what he's best at. That's what he does, you know, when Sefi's hanging all the golds. He's like, listen up, you little shits, <laughs> you know, before he backflips. He's really good at stepping in at like the last possible moment when being like, stop fucking up, everybody. Shit, and he just kind of saves the day a lot of time. That's kind of Severo's yeah. MO. Yeah. So they stay the execution for Darrow to face Fa, but then he must return and face punishment. So I was like, hey, go do this for us and come back. We're going to kill you. <laughs> All right. Cool. Or cool. maybe they'll be like, hey, good job. You killed Fa. Yeah. I wonder if we'll, we'll return to that trial next book. Mm. I don't, feel, I don't feel like now. we're going back to the room next yeah. book. I think everything's going to be on Mars next book. I don't know. Luna. I don't I don't agree. Know. Keep them alive a little longer. So he lets Lyria go and try to talk Volga into returning to their side. Doesn't go very well, obviously. Mm-hmm. I think Fa wants him. What's he would say? He wants you to kill your weakness. Yeah, he wants her to kill it. So she's she's killing a bunch of people, but she doesn't. She can't. She can't kill Lyria. And I'm for real. I thought it was going to happen. I thought she. Was I did too. I was like, if you fuck me, first of all, Lyria, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised there wasn't a new fifth POV. I was surprised he didn't yeah. add another POV to replace Ephraim. But with this, I was like, is he really going to kill another POV character in their chat? I, I really did oh. think I, I, I was convinced it was happening. I definitely thought it was happening too. I was like, Volga, if you fucking <laughs> do this, like, don't, <laughs> ma'am. Don't, I was at, I was like at the dare. same point Lyria was where I was like, uh, like, please don't do this. <laughs> so I had someone, uh, here it is Gunner. Uh, he, he, he can't stay long. So I say, he just said, look, all I want to know is does Darrow do badass shit in this book? Dude, he Trojan horses at a fucking Leviathan. How fucking gangster <laughs> is that? Oh my God. So kick ass. So yes, Darrow does do badass stuff in this book. So yeah. 
That Absolutely. Amazing, right? I mean, I, <laughs> like, why do they keep talking about, like, the, all these Leviathans and dragons and drakes and stuff like that? Okay, so we can have this awesome moment. So. Yeah. yeah. When they're talking about doing the thing, that was great. They're yeah. Like, when we do the thing. When we do the thing. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Call back to Red Rising. Yeah. So, so many callbacks it. for yeah. the... For the real fans. <laughs> <laughs> so he challenges Fa and uh, clang, clang, clang. I mean, that's just, just this is just something. Oh, that's gonna you were that's not gonna wrong. be something that just becomes like synonymous it? with the series now. I think <laughs> you know people are just gonna be like clang, clang, clang. Yeah. Next Howler, Howler, Con, Howler Pod, Howler, Howler Con. Howler Pod, Howler Con. You guys are going to be having you know, your own con now. Uh, I can see people just you know just shouting clang, 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 or confess. Oh, for sure. No, so people good. were shouting. It for sure. <laughs> yeah. I kept shouting clang clang bitch because <laughs> it was clang, more bang, of my bitch. style. <laughs> the best at Howler Con was um what was the guy's name with the long hair? Uh I forgot. He had beautiful long hair, but he kept going, Hail Libertas. <laughs> and then we'd all yell, Hail Reaper. <laughs> we'd all start howling and the bars we wandered into were very confused about the culty <laughs> mess that wandered into their establishment yeah i was just oh do you think pax and abominadrius will have a showdown in red god Mm -hmm. i was sad pax was barely in life a lot of a lot of characters in that side of the story were barely in it i really feel like abominadrius is like maybe messing's got her fingers in there bringing him into on the arch yeah in dark age i felt like that that she was going to bring him to her side yeah yeah she's like bringing him into the fold and what if Abominatrix killed Lysander? <laughs> That'd be great. I feel like Pax is not going to be com- confronting anybody. No, he's, he's going to be in a ship. In a ship. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be synced in. Yeah, maybe he's like pew pewing people. But see, Pierce he he he, he wrote Pax out of the story too. See, boom, done, <laughs> yeah. done, done. We didn't even so see we? Electra. That's true. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. No, I, that's where I would miss E from, you know, because he's just always like talking about how crazy she yeah. looks. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, did you, did you guys expect there to be a new POV character? I really thought we were going to get Well, somebody. that was the originally, like, he had said there was going to be a fifth POV and, and might, or at least one more POV. Was that the sever one that he cut? And then at HowlerCon, he did talk about the act, like, when he first wrote the book, uh, he started it out with like 100 pages of alternating povs between severo and atlas and so then that was the chunk that got thrown out Uh, and if he did like post some pictures of atlas povs at points like there was an atlas prologue of him like going down in an iron rain on luna um yeah so yeah it's it definitely seems like that was the original plan was to have more expanded POVs, but then that got thrown out, and then he focused the story more on Darrow, and that's w- why we ended up where we're at. Julia Albalona just seems to be like the cockroach who won't go away. Because I was surprised. I thought when when if, if Dido got blasted out of the sky, I thought ah, you're probably going to get rid of Julia here eventually. Anyway, she still she still think she even cares that Cassie's died. I'm sure she cares. Maybe she'll stop eating and uh, have to die of starvation. This I don't time. know. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Like how she's going to feel about that. Well, she's probably still mad that she's been on a hunger strike for like you know the Forever. last 15 years because he never brought her you know Darrow's head to eat. I think she had already written Cassius off, but it can never be easy, even for an estranged son, to die. I was going to say it's still like a mother and her son, but she's such a bitter old bee that. She's hungry. I uh, bet she'd be a lot nicer if she would eat I something. I could see her not being too upset about it. What is the old stone side chapter? I'm drawing a blank. That's when um, Darrow and Cassius go to are, Europa. Go to Lauren's oh, castle. Okay. And then like Volga comes mm-hmm. and meets up with them after she's President Volga. Or right before she's President Volga. President Volga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it's right before. Yeah. All right, so uh, Volga, or wait, so after the confessing, so we had this big chase. I already talked about him being like, why won't you leave me alone? I was like, wow, Just, is it? that the best action sequence in this entire it's so series? Fun. It's, it's so, so good. And, I mean, and I, I love it awesome. like all the other people say, like, oh, wait, you guys are having like this big fight. Nah, I ain't interfering. This is like, <laughs> yeah. like, sacred. I love that he's basically asking for 
you know, his, his soldiers to help him out are like, nah, this is sacred. You have to do this on your own because you're having this fight. I can't remember. What it and just, I love the Askamani like being like, oh shit. Yeah, it's just yeah. out. There was so many great moments in that. I just reread it the other night, actually. I was just like, I just gotta like I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm just gonna read those like three chapters. And and then you didn't sleep all night because you were so pumped. It, got, up. it was it was so awesome. Like the imagery of Daryl like coming out of the Leviathan and then like cutting some people in half and then his helmet slithers back and him howling. Like that's such a great moment. There's also a great moment where they're chasing Fa and like Darrow, Severo, Cassius are all howling and they're flying after him. Like, oh, that's and just Fa's being a little I was like, bitch. That's fucking awesome. And it's yeah. so great to just like once we find out that Fa's uh a fraud, just like I don't know, the redemption, like the that aspect was just so satisfying him being a fraud and just like what happened with Sefi and like how heart wrenching that entire situation was and just like terrible to see Sefi get killed like that. It was so tough. And then like this moment, I feel like paid that off so well where you just like, and don't forget he Ephraim. is a fraud bitch yeah. and they're exposing him to everyone right now. And I just, I just love that. And I love how Darrow drug it out. Like he, he had, I mean, he couldn't have just killed him right out, but once he was getting in the flow, then he was like, oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I could do this all day. <laughs> and I felt like Cassius was like proud dad, so, you know, <laughs> use these uh, new moves. I taught him that. Yeah, I taught yeah. him that move. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's great. great and then he was though. even like, That's a great call. What is, what's that called? You know, you've got to <laughs> name your new, your new moves. The Breath of Stone. Yeah. So Darrow promises not to kill him if he confesses, and he does. But Volga's like, bitch, I didn't make no such promise. <laughs> yeah. And I won't lie, I fist pumped when she said worthy uh, when she ripped that bitch's heart out. Unworthy. <laughs> unworthy. <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay, so part four, brothers. This is the part I don't really, really want to talk about. Uh, you know? Okay, uh, I got to go. Bye. <laughs> still, still hashtag too soon. And I'll, I'll be feeling like that when I'm reading Red Sun. Red God, uh, I, I was like, basically i was reading that and my wife saw me being like quite upset <laughs> and she's like i don't want to know because she hasn't read the sequels yet you know she's waiting for she said when red god has a release date she's just going to do a complete reread and then read the sequels for the first time and basically i was like i don't even want to read book seven <laughs> that was my initial reaction obviously i do but uh mm-hmm. yeah I, it, like you said as soon as as soon as they had that talk and he professed the yeah. brotherhood where, where, and i was like it's not gonna go well. He's not oh, getting out of this. The dread it's, was it's just no at all time levels at that point. Basically, I hit bargaining <laughs> stage for the rest of the book. Yeah. That, like, oh, maybe this is gonna happen. Maybe he's maybe it's just like so obvious that he's trying to throw us off the scent. And something like right. crazy is gonna happen. I mm-hmm. keep going back to um when Lysander gives him the out. I'm like, why why didn't he do it? Why didn't he take it? Mm-hmm. Then he could have told Darrow about the eat me. You know. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I keep thinking that he could have lived. He told you why. He said, "I must." <sighs> yeah, when he said, "My honor remains," I was like, "No, it doesn't." <laughs> yeah. Stop it. I, that part was great, but I feel like the better line is, "I must." I, I must. don't know. It's just like that was that is Cassius to me. Just see, like yeah. see, like a, yeah. I'm. A, you're never gonna be able to forget me or something. Like, or you're, I'm gonna yeah. haunt you or if something. My guilt. Yeah, like that. Yeah, the if, guilt. If that guilt is what has to bring you down, then so be it or whatever. Oh, Lysander's way worse than Kyle Haven, dude. Kyle Haven's bad in one book, and then he kind of did. They were talking, it's a Robin Hobb series. He's in okay. the background for a while. Lysander's like in your face. Like, hey, how can I become more and more detestable? So but, so Cassius sneaks aboard the ship, and him and Pythia try, you know, try to convince him, stop this shit. You know, we're going to get we're gonna get Atlas. And you think, I started thinking, okay, because uh, Diomedes has like that moot with the three of them, and basically has them be mm-hmm. like, Mm-hmm. Okay, look, I like, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, like I'm actually able to, uh, you know, forgive and forgive. <laughs> not, maybe I forget, but forgive for Alexander. And I'm like, okay, maybe we are going to do this light redemption story, you know? And I, I was on board for it. I was like, I, I still don't like him, but okay, <laughs> if it means that Cassius is going to live, <laughs> right? So yeah, I was bargaining like crazy, but uh, th- this whole fight was awesome. I mean, him I fight, the uh, fight Roan, fight, uh, the Roan, uh, Roan, yeah, that Roan. was vicious. And Roan, Roan chops him up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the with the the knee, the knife. 
Yeah, when he stomps his foot and his and knife, knife pops, pops out. out. That was, and he's like, like let's go. <laughs> I kind of want to get one of those. That'd be cool. However bad I thought Daryl got taken apart by Apple, the Roan is, is just turning <laughs> yeah. this kid into just like paper machine. Just, 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 just like, he's yeah. just chopping him up. So I was, was surprised he actually won the damn Brutal, game. brutal, brutal, brutal. But you know, and then and then and then Cassius beats Atlas. You know, is uh, describing that fight. Just like oh, even Lysander was like amazing, amazing yeah. the moves that he pulls off there. Yeah. And again, I'm like, okay, cool. They got him. Cool. Cool. He's gonna <laughs> live. But yeah, yeah I so kept Lysander thinking Atlas me. would kill Cassius, or maybe they'd kill each other. Yeah. This part was I was reading so fast too. I was just like, uh, I, I, I'm fast. <laughs> then I also like hit the brakes because I don't want it to happen. I know it's gonna yeah. happen. I don't want it to happen. Yeah, so you had to has, reread has, it, right? Oh yeah, I I read it like so fast, but and then you I skipped like, and then I was sort of like ch skipping chunks mm -hmm. of it, and you dried your eyes and you read it again. Yeah, then I just like went back and reread the entire thing. Like, so Atlas like, had yeah. eat me at this point. He had it, yeah. you know, and so. Cassius is like, give it to me so I can destroy it. And Lysander's going to do what Lysander's going to do, you know? And uh, I'm shouting, don't do it. You know, get in your <laughs> ship. We can we can figure this out. I keep, I keep I'm like, I'm like, in an alternate universe, he's like, oh, I'll go tell Daryl about it yeah. so we know about it instead of sacrificing himself just to become guilt. Yeah. I didn't love it. I wish he would have walked away he couldn't though he couldn't let it stand I mean, part of me thinks that he thought okay well if i just go back to jared jared's just going to kill him and even then at this moment he doesn't want he doesn't want lysander to be killed you know so uh i feel like forward. he still sees something you know like he still he sees thinks lysander. Lysander might make i the feel right the good in you yeah yeah exactly it's that type of moment and well now he's on the darth vader path yeah, no doubt. Man, no joke, Jake. man. That dude could kick some ass. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really have much else to say. Obviously, I mean, I knew there was going to be a big, painful death in here. I mean, <laughs> this is going to sound so bad. I was hoping it was going to be like Pax or like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for who died? I was thinking, yeah. I was. Look, you're going to make me pick. I'm not going to pick. You know. No. My yeah. Two favorite characters. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Kill the, kill the I was 100 percent expecting Cassius, but then I was like, when we were at Mars and. Deanna was really involved at first. I was like, "Oh, is Daryl's mom going to?" But I don't think killed or Pierce would be as that wouldn't be like he's not killing kids in back to back books, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, rough. Uh, what, what then? What's even even worse? So again, if you aren't absolutely just white hot hatred for Lysander, then they do like a propaganda video. Yeah, and Daryl sent him as a as a as as an assassin, and they got they're like parading his dead body in the background. I'm, I, I couldn't. Yeah, there was just the the parts after Cassius's death were almost harder than Cassius's death. I, no, like, I agree. Way like harder. Seeing yeah. him. Daryl's broken. I the mean, yeah. Lyria hugging yes. Daryl on the waist. Yeah, seeing his like defiled body and then Daryl seeing Daryl's reaction, seeing Lyria's Lyria, reaction. That one really got me. Oh, no, man, Daryl hugs Debro and he just says Cassius. And so yeah. like, I know. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah i can't pierce is has always been really good at um twisting the knife for like <laughs> lots of chapters it's amazing right this guy who just takes such pleasure in finding new ways to kill people and he, and he still finds a way to just completely devastate you he's oh just like, yeah hey he's a good writer it's amazing <laughs> breaking news he's a great writer it just gets better at that doesn't mm. that's what i think makes it different than most stories like this they can get a little just too dark is mm -hmm. he still finds a way to hit those emotional moments so well and yeah to me, and it's I, had the I best, it's a, had the best in the series i think he balanced that really well in this book just yeah it wasn't as hard as dark age in terms of the death count you know it was a big death but we weren't like drugged down by all the deaths yes i just got him back oh, oh, that's how I man. Felt, man. Shit. that's a good call right thanks there. jesse yeah all right
Jesse, you give me the vapors here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's, that, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, the last like couple chapters are really just like the the the, the aftermath Setting of that. Up for the alliance, yeah. Red God. I felt like it was less of a cliffhanger than the last book. I mean, oh, it, it, yeah. yeah, it feels like the end of an arc. You know, yeah. we're, we're headed home to Mars, and Daryl says, you know, we're, we're going to win this shit. Out. You know, so it feels like the last book set up. And I'm just going to say, Pierce, if it really is the last book, just go ahead. 12, 1300 pages. <laughs> yeah, let, let's no. go big. I know. I don't want it to end. I was telling Ben I'm not um, excited about the next book because I don't want it to end. I know. <laughs> they're, they're watching the video of them at the Institute. Yeah. Fuck you, Pierce Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the home yeah. I think I had blocked that from my me. memory. I know. The <laughs> funeral was, yeah, the, very tough. Yeah. I'm glad they at least gave the body back. I mean, yeah. uh, I didn't expect them to do even that. And the show. I wish Pytha could have. And they got the Archimedes back. Yes, that was yeah. also very good. I wish Pytha could have. Pew, pew. I love that she tried. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, gotta try it. <laughs> so, um, book seven. What's going to happen? Oh, uh, man. Who's the red god? I'm not even sure I, I have them. I can wrap my mind around predictions yet, but it seems like I agree with you. I feel like it's going to be mostly Battle on Mars. Over Mars. Yeah. Um, be Mars and Luna. We'll, we'll, we'll do those. Mars two. and Luna. I don't yeah. see us going back to, to Ilium. Cause I'm hoping that Lysander and Atalantia implode each other at yeah. some point. Die on each other's swords, razors. Sorry. Die on each other's razors. There's got to be something that happens pretty immediately just because of that foothold they have on Phobos. I feel right. like that's a big problem. And that's why I'm thinking Abominadrius has to be a turncoat and come on to yeah. our side because how else are They've we They've almost gonna... like got to take Phobos back or I don't yeah. know. Like, I don't know. Did they get uh, Cassius's razor back or did Lysander keep it? I don't it didn't, say. I'm not sure that it's... Because I was uh, hoping that yeah. Darrow was going to use... Cassius's oh, razor. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah. he's using a bad last right now, right? Uh -huh. Right. So I and then he's got the rim razor still. Pipe I was hoping to get Cassius's razor and kill Lysander with it. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a little too, you know, on the Do you nose. think that Lysander is going to die in the next book? At this point, hell, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, Mike I, doesn't want to take a stand. No, I think is mean, going to die logic, like the bitch logic, he is. <laughs> logic would dictate that, but I mean, Pierce isn't. I don't. I don't know. Pierce doesn't seem like the type who's promising us a happy ending. You know, it, I mean, if you've yeah. been reading the series for it's long, you want your happy ending. Stop at Morningstar. Yeah, you know that's what I feel like. You want your happy ending. So, I I could see it being a, a, a thing where Darrow and Lysander are fucking fly into the sun fighting and die <laughs> together yeah. you know but it, I, I mean if we don't get that confrontation i'll feel ripped off and i yeah, don't think that he sure. would rob us of that i feel like it has to be a bittersweet ending like i feel like we're gonna get satisfaction out of it but it's gonna be at a price and well to be a god don't you have to be dead i do feel like yeah daryl's probably I, I would say daryl's probably gonna die I, I think Lysander's also got to die, but what I need from a Lysander death is just like, I need I'm him to realize how low. long and stupid and <laughs> horrible he is before this is he dies. For, If anybody will know this, Ben will know. What happened to Selenius's razor? Uh, Abominadrius yeah. has it. He does? Yeah. Okay, there we go. See, I told you he know. <laughs> so I, I think in Red God, we got to see the mind's eye versus the breath of stone because... They're very similar meditative states, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, that's that's the razor duel. It's razor duel plus, you know, these two philosophical, almost religious, fighting techniques. I'm kind of a Brian here. I don't feel like Atalania is going to be the big bad. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so either. I I think that, that maybe seems, maybe her own people turn. That on seems her. like that's going to be like the first thing on Lysander's Maybe her list. snake chokes her out. I That'd feel like be that's cool. going to be like kind of the first part of the book for Lysander is going to be a lot of conflict with Atalantia. Yeah. Yeah. And I think everyone's going to die except, except, except Julia. She's, she's, she's going to still be alive. <laughs> she'll, <laughs> she'll just be alone and be bitter. And hungry. <laughs> Someone it's give me some bread. Still hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Atalantia's going to get killed by the eater thing like a bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
the edge. All right, here we go. Easy. I like this. Daryl will blow up the Lightbringer, killing both Lysander and Virginia in the process. He'll be crowned sovereign on Diomedes' testimony. Wow. Why you gotta throw Virginia yeah. into it? We gotta have Mustang survive. Why is Virginia on I the Lightbringer? Apparently, they, he, he, she's on Mars. They want they want Pax to hate Darrow even more. You know, I don't. I don't even think <sighs> Pax hates Darrow. He's just disappointed in him. He understands Darrow. Pax is very intellectual, like his mother. Oh, whatever. Darrow's going to get home and be like, why'd you let him tattoo himself like this? <laughs> yeah, is there anybody that you're going to be like truly upset if they die? Like, or is it, I'm assuming probably Victra for you, Mike? Uh, Victra, yeah. Uh, because I mean, I, I know that either or both De uh, Severo and Darrow are going, you know, yeah. and that's, that's, you know, it just, it just, there's just no way. Right. So yeah, at least let me keep Victra, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need, I need Mustang to survive. Yeah. Like, if Mustang dies, that's going to be like. To me, it's like if someone's huge going bummer. out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> it's a huge bummer. If they're going out in a blaze of glory, it's like, okay, I'm I'm down with it. You know, if they're doing something to save people, okay, I just don't want any cheap shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no one getting right. bit by a fucking snake or something or, or eating a poison apple. No, oh, no, no pun yeah, intended. I, you know, I hope I, Lysander continues to get poisoned. <laughs> yeah, he gets poisoned again. Someone asked if I thought that, that, that Darrow is going to be able to, to to flip Apollonius to their side. Hmm. That'd be great for me. <laughs> I, know, I, feel like, I feel like at this point, it feels like he's got way too much of a I got to prove it versus Darrow. I, no, I think he did. Uh, I don't think. Ooh, he, maybe Apple kills Atalantia. That'd be nice. They've got some real uh, Batman Joker vibes for sure between love the two it. of them. If they do like Manchurian Candidate with Severo. Um, I'm I I don't like that idea. Yeah, I can't. I know it's a popular theory, but ah uh, man, I, I I can't I can't handle that. That's my theory. I just want several to be okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, I just want Lysander to die, like yeah. slowly roasted over a white hot spit, <laughs> exactly. and and I want him to yell, "I was wrong." And Victor to live. There we go. So, <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm sure you guys are. You guys going to continue to? Are you guys going to do like your chapter breakdowns for this book? Like, we are. Book? yes, yeah. we've got some plans for some more like light Recaps. bringer recap reviews. Friends um, on the pod. Friends on the pod coming up, so we'll have some special guests to talk about that. And I then... know a guy, by the way. Yeah. You're on there. You're on the list. <laughs> I'm on the dark wall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then yeah, this fall. We'll start in on our chapter. All right, just do like yeah. three hour pods per five chapters, and you can make it last all the way until Red Guy. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, we're not we're not in any rush. I don't yeah, we that's what make we're sure kind of thinking. Everyone can read we it. We want people to read it and, and reread it. And we'll have time. Because <laughs> I mean, I think I feel like we have at least a year before another book's gonna come out. Did, so. Where this book come out on the twenty fifth, I had yeah. so many people messaging me, when's your spoiler talk video? I'm like, it just came out the day, <laughs> guys. Let people yeah. read it first. Yeah. People get mad at you if you do it so, too early. We 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 uh, have plenty of time to get some content out there. So we I've got a plan together for the chapter by chapter rereads already. So we're excited. I was our, I've already been rereading and I've just been like picking out spots to reread and yeah. Uh, I've been reading Murder Bot, so that's where I am. <laughs> I, I know what Pierce said when I spoke to him, but did he say anything new at Halicon as in like an ETA of any sort? For seven, I know he said he wants to finish no, writing it, but he's probably year. hesitant yeah. to throw out ETA since he always has to push him back. That's that's what I've heard too. It's pretty similar. Like he's been working on it, and he told me he hopes to feels, finish seems writing like it, it by the end of this year, and it's usually about a year turnaround. But he doubts they release it in the holidays. So yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. He usually usually does these in the summer release, so summer of. 2025? 25? Yeah. I mean, look, as long as it's like four years. Okay. But, you know, no, we'll see. But Let's then I'm also... drag it out forever. But I'm also <laughs> not like... I mean, I, I want it, obviously, but then I'm like, but do I want it to end? You know? Exactly. I know. Thank you. That's, That's my point. Cool. I'm like, I don't want a final book. I can't imagine this series being over. You know, it's like very hard What are we going to gonna do with our lives? With that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, 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 he said he wants to write epic fantasy next. So you guys right. can just transition to the Pierce Brown pod. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce pod. Pierce pod. Like nice. Well, guys, this has been a blast for me. Thank you so much for, for doing all these with me. It's been so much fun to be able to. Thanks for having us. Out. Of course. I mean, yes, so like excited. I said, I, I'm a fan of you guys before we're I, a fan of you anyone guys. even heard of my channel. So <laughs> I, I'm very excited that you guys said yes 
when I first presented this idea, I was like, hey, you're going to want to talk to you for those six episodes. But glad you guys did. <laughs> And uh, I, I can't we'll wait talk to talk again. Let's keep doing it. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go listen to you guys pod now. And uh, I can, yeah, the Pierce that. pod, the Pierce pod. That's what you guys, <laughs> will be. Pierce pod. you guys will be rebrand is the Pierce TM. Pod. <laughs> and then really we'll fun. we'll have you on uh, Haller Pod soon. Yes, I'll reach I out to you soon. Wait. We'll get you scheduled for some can't Haller Pod. Haller right. content. Yeah, oh. hey, we, we could talk about this for a long time, but it's just exactly. so hard. <laughs> not being able to talk about this for a month. You know? Yeah, I mean, you did a good job uh, not rubbing it in her face too much. No, I, I was like, no, I don't want to be a dick about it. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure going forward, you know, everyone will get book seven and I won't. The only reason I got this one was because he was like, why didn't you get one yet? And he sent me one, you know. Yeah. I still never, I never got approved by NetGalley, ever. We didn't either. Yeah, and then <laughs> like, yeah, people who don't make content got them. So. I say there's people, there's people on Twitter with the egg emoji. It, like two followers they got approved i'm like what the fuck yeah it was <laughs> so, it was a uh, uh like they were just throwing darts on that yeah all right well you guys know where yeah. to find them they're on uh, spotify itunes all the good good places Heller pod and, I, and they've got a hell if you've rated this far guys you've got a ton of content to go back because they're a full mm -hmm. spoiler pod you can go back and do uh, uh not re-read but a re-experience with their content I sure think sure it's, it's, do it's whatever you want time, evergreen so, uh, <laughs> I'm going to let them sign off because their sign off is actually good. I don't really have one. So you guys take it away. All right. Thanks, Hallers. Omnisphere lupus. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we had some dissonance.